The cabinet of Namibia did approve the offer from Botswana to co-host, uh, to co-bid and then eventually co-host uh, of 2027. This is borne out by the friendship that exists between the Republic of Namibia and the Republic of Botswana. What this entails really is that uh, between the two countries, it's a lot cheaper to host AFCON as opposed to one country going it, uh, by itself. Uh, the, the cost is, is enormous. Under our, uh, under our framework, this is going to be a 60-40 ratio uh, arrangement where Namibia will take 40% of the cost and, and reap 40% of the benefits. Botswana will take 60% of the cost and then enjoy 60% uh, uh, of the benefits as well. Also, in terms of uh, the arrangement of games, uh, 12 uh, uh, games will take place in, uh, uh, sorry, 16 games, 16 teams will be based in Botswana, whereas the eight will be based in uh, Namibia. So the, the eight will be in two groups uh, of four, and the Botswana will take the rest. So our intention is to host the teams in Vintuk at the Independence Stadium, and then at the cost at the Soccer Moon Stadium. Uh, at the same time, we have also made plans to have training facilities at Wavis Bay and Soccer Moon. And then in Vintuk, we also have to, to have, we hope to have uh, four other training uh, venues for the teams as they prepare for, for the tournament. That's really the framework in which we operate. Uh, one of the reasons why we thought this could, Namibia could host is that we have, we have very, very, very good infrastructure on the continent. If you look at our road network, it's up, uh, up standard. Our telecommunications, our financial sector, uh, everything in, works for Namibia in, 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 in Botswana. Hence the need for us, the, the desire for us to host the, the games in 2027. Botswana on that end also, they have uh, identified Khaborone, uh, Francistown, and then Kasane as a potential host for, uh, for 2027.